Okay, so today I have a Lenovo Think Center 720Q with a Core i5 8th Gen processor that I want to use to be my router. We need a few things to tune it up with. First is going to be a two and a half gig uh, WAN. Next is going to be two 10 gig SFP plus ports, my two LANs. We're going to need a riser card to put that in. And I got this little kit to keep it cool from untrusted source. To install that, we need to add a 5 volt fan connector that fits this fan to the motherboard. There's also a USB version, but it's usually out of stock. All right, the first thing we got to do is get our pants off. I added this big thumb screw in place of the Phillips screw they had just to make it easier. Take out this SATA carrier. Don't need that. And take off this little rear plate that I'm not going to use. There was another screw over there. I took it out already. I'm going to take the CPU fan out of the way so you can see it I'm trying to get this little connector right here up CPU fan connector. You know what? I can make my life easier and take some more stuff out of the way. We'll take this bracket off the front. Okay, so with this cooling shroud for the network card that I got from Untrusted Source, they sent uh, these little fan headers. Now, before I solder them on, I'm going to plug in this connector. In case things get hot, that'll help keep these in place where they need to be inside of there. All right, it's got a little bit of tin on there. I'm gonna have to bend these. And if this doesn't work out, I'll just cut that connector off and solder it straight to the motherboard. Okay, I've had to bend the legs on here a little bit and shorten them up a touch. Now I need to add a little bit of fresh juicy solder to those legs. Damn, I got the wrong tip on here. It'll be all right. All right, now I want to add some on the pads here. It's got a little bit of solder on there, but that's old. Here's the motherboard location we're soldering to. It's labeled for positive and negative. Hard lead free solder. We want the fresh juicy lead based solder on there. That might be a little excessive. I'm sorry you guys won't be able to see this, but I'll do the best I can. That's not great. I gotta get them both. 
don't touch it. Okay, there we go. It's not perfect, but it's pretty solid. And this is about what it should look like when you're all done. And the next thing I want to do is install this two and a half gig A and E keyed NIC. It's going to be the WAN port to my router. I bought one with a real tech chip because I'm cheap. Next thing is add this dual 10 gig SFP plus card. This is an Intel 520 DA2 untrusted source also sent this bracket for it. And this is my next my next task. These little pointed screws made to go into plastic are going to be what works best. Damn, I am shaky tonight. This plate came with vent holes here, but I modified it so I could fit this network cord through there. Alright. Like a glove. This secures the riser card in place. This secures the rear bracket. Wow, I'm liking that. That is really clean. shaky and these little tiny fiddly connectors are a pain. There, there we go. Now the fan. So now let's try out a fan shroud. You see there's two little holes here. They go on what used to be the mount for that little saddle holder. Okay, that fits pretty good. I'm going to have to tuck away a lot of cable now. I think that will be okay. Now, to route this cable, I'm going to put in this little slot next to that. Out a little hole. Okay. Are we ready to put the lid back on? I think so. See if the lid still fits. OK. 
Okay. Like what I'm going to have to do is go and take a little bit of height off of this right here and then see how it goes. Okay. I'll shorten this thing up a little bit. Okay, whatever I did was enough. I'm going to plug this thing in one time. To make sure everything works. Okay, both of the fans came on. together now this blower fan the connector to solder to the motherboard and this uh, back IO bracket all came from a company called untrusted source the small guy making these things there's a link in the description below but I am not affiliated in any way and paid for everything with my own money. And it's brilliant. So let's uh, put it back together. It's going to go in the rack. GoPro just died. Anyway, we're going to put it back in the rack. We're going to install PF Sense on it. I'm going to have my two and a half gig WAN port, my uh, regular LAN, and my IoT LAN. This is not exactly ideal, but I'll come up with something for it. All right. Let's go see how it goes. Here are the four network interfaces in PFSense. I currently don't use the one gig interface, but you can see the two and a half gig WAN interfaces and the two 10 gig LAN interfaces that I use. If you made it this far, wow, thanks for watching. Stick around and I'm going to dig deeper into this home lab journey.